Weekly report. Weekly roundup. Weekly roundup. Round, roundup report. Not to be confused with a special report. Or are we? Are we actually, did, did we pick up a sponsor, which is roundup? And so yeah, now we we're the weekly roundup yes. report. Yes. We're weekly roundup. Sponsored report. by roundup. No weeds yeah. here. Get rid of your ants and get some cards. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start on Sunday, the fourteenth, like we always do. Uh, well. Well, ish. Yeah. Ish. I know we had some issues last week, right? <laughs> yeah. We've got the whole calendar thing sorted out. Well, we were going by an old advent calendar. Yes. And it still had some chocolate in there. We'd pull it out and go, oh, it's Pokemon tournament. Yeah, and some, there wasn't chocolate at all. No, so it wasn't really chocolate. Care. It was just bad dates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, the, not the Middle East. No, I've, I've been on a few, yeah. <laughs> all right, Sunday the 14th, Pokemon Casual. Casual. Now, what I've been told is on a Pokemon Casual at 2 p.m., you can come in your jammies. You can come in your smoking jackets. Yep. Business casual office Business attire. Business casual. Uh, yeah, office what? Office attire. Office attire, yeah. Business casual. Uh, and this is going to be, uh, let's see. This is not your standard game. This okay. is any cards. Any cards, any cards are, are allowed. Any cards go. Any cards go. Ooh. And what they said was this is for, you know, younger kids want to get in. Yeah. They just let them play any cards they want. And, oh, so and that's the casual part. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. All right. So that's 2 o'clock on Sunday the 14th. And we know that date is good. Yes. All right. So let's move to Monday the 15th yes. of January. Uh, that is ladies night. Always the Mondays and the ladies night. 6 p.m. And it's once again what? Dungeons and Dragons. Lady night. Right. Ladies night. We just need to make sure we say that plenty of times so I can get that copyrighted music in there. Yes. Yeah. And there... <laughs> Again, it's a group. They're it's a open. mini version, though, so it's okay. Yeah. They're open to anybody. They're really wanting to, to grow the group. First yeah. time DMD players. Yeah. Again, very open. Come in. If you've got questions, I'm more than willing to answer it. It's a good deal. Yeah. Get in here, ladies. No costumes. No, they'll let you know when they're going to have those. Okay. But they don't. I'm just going to tell you, they don't play in costumes, but they have worn costumes before. I think it was. Maybe that goes on like a special ladies' Twitter or something. It goes out and they know. Or something. Ladies, it's time. You yeah. Know, assemble. Uh, so that's 6 p.m. on Monday the 15th. Uh, also, the return of Anna Monday. Anna Monday. That means Anime Monday. See how, that, see how clever that is? 8.30 p.m., and they are showing the Full Metal Panic. 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 Uh, and uh, I. Dylan, that is what? About a six or seven part thing? Uh, yeah, six parts. Six yes. parts. And we're doing part one or part two or what? And they're we're so... We're on part one. They're, this they're is so, a start. Well, they're so anxious. Yeah. Part one is <laughs> hey, literally... Please. We went looking for Anna... Mun Anna, Anna... What is it? Anna uh, Full Metal Panic. Full Metal we Panic. We went looking for Full pa Metal Panic this one. It wasn't even in there. And we're thinking, how do you do that? Well, it's already in the. It's, it's already loaded, in the player. preloaded. It's already there. They're just like gnawing. They're biting at the bit. Press play. Let's, let's go. go. Boom! Everybody, get in here. Uh, all right. So that wraps up Monday the fifteenth. Again, yes. Anna Monday at eight thirty p.m. Let's go to Tuesday the sixteenth. Sixteenth of January. Yes. Still, right. Yes. We're okay. still in the month of January. Now, I will warn our viewers that that night is the night you may spot. The infamous Hobbendogler. Now, if you see a Hobbendogler, the most important thing is don't charge him. And no flash photography. No flash photography. It startles him. Yes. I mean, and that's really when a Hobbendogler is dangerous. And it's most dangerous, him. yes. What I would do is anything that you've been taught uh, like to approach a bear with. Or or, or, or mere or, folks. Or maybe a shark. Yeah. You punch him right in the nose. Yeah, it's startling. <laughs> back up. Do it. I don't think you punch him. I don't think you punch him right in the nose. Don't no. do that, please. No. Uh, but uh, anyway, he, he uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Hobbendogler is going to be hosting the historical war gaming at 6 p.m. And you said this week is the battle of. I believe it's the battle of Knobs Hill. Yeah. 
And that's an exciting battle. Yes. Uh, we don't necessarily know anything about it, but I've heard it's really hot. Small skirmish, I think. Yeah, small skirmish. So you get your small men and your small tanks and your small guns, and you, you start historically game. I don't even know if there were tanks involved in that one. Knob Hill, probably not. Yeah, no. It was more well, maybe it's just like tanks of water. There you go, yeah. Okay. All right, so that wraps up Tuesday the 16th, Historical Wargaming, 6 p.m. Let's talk about Wednesday the yes. 17th. All yes. of a sudden, Wednesday has gotten to be a hot property. Yes. I mean, now, yeah. I don't want to take all of the credit for that, but I'll go ahead and take all the credit for that. Last week, we said, hey, we need some more stuff on the calendar. We had empty days. We had empty days. And uh, I would like to start with something we did last week. Jeremiah, come here. Come here. Get right behind me here. So, to, right, you got to squat down, man, or get in a chair or something. Yeah. Come on right over. Now. Come on over. Come on over. Start as you can. Yeah. Until, until it feels uncomfortable. Yes. All right. So, and then go a little bit we're going to do a Yu Gi Oh tournament yes. on Wednesday the 17th. Yes. Correct? Yes. This is going to be at 5 30. Yes. That's for the sign ups. Yes. Right? And then maybe it'll start at 6. Mm -hmm. And this is a GX era yes. Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Tell us what that is. Well, it's the same as last time. This is really uncomfortable sitting next to each other. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the same as we I described last week. Right. Except we chose to do something different this week. <laughs> of course, that's the oh, way it's been going. Yeah. Same as it ever was. <laughs> Advent calendar. Yeah. Time isn't holding up. But it's going to be the same exact thing as last time I described. Essentially, there's a specific ban list we're going to use. That right. ban list concurs to about what the anime has. Ish. Okay. Right, so, gotcha. Something in that era. So, it's just something. It's just a fun thing to play. Okay. All right. So, anybody that plays Yu-Gi-Oh, they know it's a GX era. They know what we're talking about. Actually, no, because it's not really a thing they market. Okay. Okay. So... So we're talking, maybe to, we're talking to maybe brand new viewers, brand new viewers, and maybe something even brand new to even older Yu-Gi-Oh players. Maybe Murpho. Murpho probably never yeah. played Yu-Gi-Oh. But they, the cards get all wet. Yeah. When they pick well, them up. that's why you get the plastic sleeve. Oh, there you go. That's what it's for. Okay. So GX era. Yes. Five thirty signups. Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. All comers are welcome. Yes. And uh, the you more the merrier. Yeah, the more the merrier. You yes. battle it out until somebody dies. Is that right? Essentially. Okay. 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 Right. Sounds great. Fun for the whole family. Yes. All right, buddy. We'll see Thank you. you. All right. Take it easy. All right. Uh, okay, so you heard that part. Now let's talk about Adventurers League. Adventurers League. Adventurers League is here every week. These every guys week. are like in stone. Uh, yes. They are. Uh, uh, well, they stared at Medusa. Well, they stared and at Medusa. Literally, in stone. they turned to stone. Yeah. yeah. But at 6:30, the spell is lifted. We blow up. Ricola. And the Adventure uh, League comes out. Right. The Adventure League comes out, and uh, uh, six thirty, they take new folks also, right? Yes. And they play the D and D. Yes. And it's fun for all. And I know they wield some crazy tales over there. Could you go find out what edition of D and D they play up there? Yeah, go ask the Adventurers League. See what it did. Go do it, Josh. You stink. Get out of here. One question. Josh, get out of here. Go find out. So we're going to get that back to you here in a second. Yeah, it's Josh important. doesn't need to be anywhere around the camera. No. Okay, and then also on Wednesday the 17th, like every Wednesday, it's us. We're Tony here from John. 7 to 9. We're filming this stuff, whatever you want to call it. We're We've doing... i tell you what we did was exciting tonight was the karaoke outside. Yeah, we expanded into the parking lot. <laughs> we did. I don't know if you know it or not, but when I went up front yeah. to get my drink... Um, D&D, the police were in the, the police were in the parking lot. Yes. I don't know if well, that was mostly for, for Josh. Yeah, for Josh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> card carrier. Card oh carrier, yeah. I tell you, the card I'm carrying right today, though, is the karaoke on wheels. Can you see that? Did that blur real bad there? Oh, remember you want to keep it in the... It's a mess now. Bring it back here, bring it up here, bring we, it up. We don't do that because you messes it up. Okay. All right, so that's it's a big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole thing. When Josh gets around and everything goes nuts. Yeah. All right, so uh, we had the karaoke on wheels out there. We had the karaoke guy here out in the parking lot. People were singing and dancing. Well, and maybe, a crazy maybe time. in the uh, in some of the comments below, or in the more, we'll put a link to that video too. Oh yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. I'll put a yeah yeah yeah. We put a link to the karaoke guy, right? Yeah, cameraman says yes. 
All right, so uh, uh, we said Adventurer League 630. Yes. We're doing the D&D 5.0. Yes. And uh, we'll be here from 7 to 9. You don't know what people we're bringing with us. We bring yeah. wrestlers. We bring karaoke on wheels. We bring new games. We bring, uh, well, we haven't done that in a while. Singing, <laughs> we dancing. Bring, singing, dancing. Streaming, we whatever. We try to get rid of Josh. Uh, and then now we're bringing Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments that are apparently banned in, in, in most from of a, Europe. From a banned list, yeah. A banned list uh, mostly in Europe. All right, so uh, this one now I feel I feel like we're responsible for Thursday also Thursday the 18th. Now yes. when I walk up to the calendar, it, there's nothing on. It. But and we that, know, and that worries me. Yeah. But I say, Dylan, what is the deal with Thursday? There's nothing there. How about a little something for the effort, you know? <laughs> yeah, how about, a, about a little <laughs> juice, how about a little juice. Uh, but jo- but uh, Dylan is is informing me. See, I got Josh on the brain. That's, that's yeah. a tough place to be. Uh, he is telling me that that is the night Thursdays from here on in. It's going to be the nights we do the off tournaments. So we're talking Vanguard. We're talking Dragon Ball Super. All the stuff you don't get to play other places, and we know what those places are. Yeah. But you don't get to play those in other places. You can come here, and they're going to have those weird tournaments. I think they're doing like a professional level of mousetrap. Yeah, professional mousetrap. That is big in Europe. Yeah. Uh, you put an actual mouse under that trap. Yes, and it, like I said, it, it's a whole different setup than what we know about here in the States. Yeah, I don't think they use a steel ball anymore. No, no, no. Something else. And when that boy, when that guy falls out of the bathtub, oh, it gets crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that is Thursday. Just, just trust us. Thursdays is going to be the night to be here because we've got those off tournaments. It's kind of like a mystery night. It is a mystery night. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on to Friday the 19th. Of course, that is the Friday Night Magic. On Friday the 19th, that is a draft, and we're being told that it is the Ixalan because that is the actual release yes. date. So they're going to be able to draft out of the Ixalan stuff. Mm-hmm. Rivals, of Ixalan. Rivals of Ixalan, pardon me. They're going to uh, walk, a lot of these people, everybody that comes to the pre-release. They'll have, they'll have something weird to play, They'll have better stuff. The stuff that's not made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, I mean, you show up on Friday the 19th, it's old news. Yeah. Yeah, you might as Been well there, show done up there. Yeah. So anyway, that is at 6.30. It is a Friday Night Magic draft. It is the Rivals of Ixalan. Again, with the merfolk, the uh, vampires, the uh, giant pigeons. Yes. Uh, things like that. Space pirates. Sky pirates. Space pigeons. Yes. Yeah. Pigeons in space. Pigeons in space. Pigeons in space. All right. So, uh, uh, and I think that's it on Friday. That's enough, though. Yeah, I mean, that that's going to be like That takes up the whole night. All right. So let's move on to Saturday the 20th. This is the end of the week. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Standard, uh, 6.30 p.m. It is uh, always a good time. A lot of these guys that are here on Thursday nights, uh, or I mean on Wednesday nights. Well, and like I said, now they're trying to to do Yu-Gi-Oh! two nights a week. Mm -hmm. Big deal to kind of branch out and get more playing time for Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, again, I don't want to say who doesn't do it here in town, but I know that mm, the other places don't. Yes, we want more Yu-Gi-Oh! They've actually told me to leave. Well, that's not good. That is not good. You don't sell things that way. Oh. Yeah, it's just sales 101. Don't sell mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Or uh, don't turn people away who buy things. All right, so uh, Saturday the 20th, Yu-Gi-Oh! Standard, 6.30 p.m. Anything we didn't cover, folks? Hey, all you people standing around not saying anything, anything we didn't cover? We good? Uh, what is in the releases? What releases? Uh, the card pack. We the were told releases. that it's just going to be exclusive. Exclusive They, they don't even know. Pre-release cards, packs. All kinds of merfolk merchandise. Yes. Yes, yeah, merfolk, vampires, weirdos. So you'll be in there. Um, yeah. No, Man, no, shut up, no, Josh. no, no. Nobody needs you. Sailor Pluto will certainly be, be in there, Linda. Good job. Oh, she may be riding on the back of a hobbendogler. Oh. <laughs> Sailor Pluto on the back of a hobbendogler. So that is scary. I, I can tell you what is in a pre-release pack. Here well, we now, go. Is this, Hot is release. This, is this not right. NDA, is it? Come here. Come here, Jeff. It's not NDA, right. is it? You weren't I... happy with your picture anyway. Sit down. No, yeah, I look like crap. All right. He right. says he looks good tonight. I look yeah, great Yeah, come on tonight. in. Yeah. Come on in. It's going right. to get uncomfortable, okay. man. Okay, right. We've got to sweat on each other. I'm okay. There we go. That's great. All right. All right. Yeah, perfect. So, in a pre-release pack, we're expecting six Ixalan booster packs. Yeah. One, <laughs> one randomized date stamped mythic or rare foil promo card. Ooh. One insert with deck building advice and one spin down life counter that's exclusive to the Spin event. down wife counter? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> wife counter. <laughs> I started with mine, three and mine, I get the key. Mine done. would be at three. <laughs> right. Be at yeah. three, right? Okay. This All one's right. going to be having, uh, you know, up to 20. That's awesome. Man. That's what comes in the pre release kit. 
20, Dylan, good job, Dylan. 20, Absolutely. Thank 20 you. Wives? Loved it. Loved it. 20 wives. In the pre release? Yeah, you get 20 wives. And what so it's like, uh, it's like the, uh, uh, what's that, uh, what's that show where they have all the wives? Sister yeah. wives? Yeah, sister wives. Okay. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. All right, so that's Saturday it's the 20th. It's not at all like that. It's not like that at all. It's, it's Rivals like all. of Ixalan. So, Rivals of Ixalan, Saturday, uh, Saturday the... No, I'm sorry, I'm getting all mixed up yes. now. Dylan got me all excited yeah. with the arm around me and everything. And the foil cards. Yeah, the foil cards always get me going. So uh, I think that takes us through the whole week, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Saturday the 20th, Yu-Gi-Oh! Standard, 6.30 p.m. I think we're done. Karaoke on wheels. Karaoke on wheels. Um, um, I know we got beer reviews this week, which is new. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out here. Different so. stuff this week, guys. Yeah. Um, gosh, I think that's it. I think it is. I think <laughs> that was a firestorm of stuff. But uh, thanks for staying with us. We appreciate it. We do. We'll, we do. We will see you here and uh, whatever comes after that. See yes. You. Beware Bye. the hobbin. Beware. Good God. <laughs> done playing Pac-Man because they have this really cool video arcade. It makes me feel like a kid again. Anyways, this drink that I'm having right now is the Pac-Man. That's really good. It has apple, pineapple, oh, I'm trying to think, strawberry. It's a sparkling juice drink and it's really good. Kids can have it too. Oh, let's see. Oh, and they have other drinks that I think you should try. They have the Princess Zelda, they have the Ice Climber, they have Pikachu. They just have several drinks that you guys need to come out here and try. Please come to King's Landing and maybe you'll see me one day. And we can have a nice drink. Well, I'm going to go play some Duck Hound. See ya. Bye. So, this game is a card game we picked up last week. It's called Smile. Okay, Smile. Um, it is by Z-Man Games. Um, this is actually made by Michael Schacht. Schacht, I think that's Schacht, his name. Yeah. I think that's um, uh, Z-Man Games. Um, it's a three to five player game. Um, eight plus. So, it, it, is, it does kind of cater to some little kids. Um, the only thing I would say be careful on that is it does have some little pieces to go with it, so you might want to be careful with that. Yeah, some little um, It takes about 30 minutes to play. I think the first time we played was about About 30, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, 20, 30, yeah. trying to figure it out. It took, took, took kind of a while to figure it out um, at first. but So um, basically it's a game about these nice little creatures, or I think they call them critters. Yeah. Um, these critters. And so one thing that attracts critters are fireflies. So your goal is to uh, attract critters with these little marbles called fireflies. And they are um, yellow in color for the fire. Yes. Um, so that's basically the whole goal um, is to attract critters. And when you attract the critters, and here's some pictures of the critters. They're really, really nice artwork. Um, you'll notice in the critters, um, they have a point value. They have a color coordinate right there. And you can even have the opposites into the other realm. So like negative is going on on these. So there's a one point. Um, there's a three point. There's a five point, which the five point is kind of cool. I kind of like that art. I know. It's kind of silly. This one, I love the little, I love the little horny toad guy. Since we're here in the Texas. So the 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 art on it is really cool. Here's a six pointer. 
Um, and one thing about these is your, your whole goal is to attract your critters um, using your firefly little little marbles. Um, but the issue is, is that you're, you're, you, you take turns basically doing this, and it goes in a rotational style um, turn um, to try to collect things. Um, now you can collect points, um, but there are some issues. Like you have a negative, uh, you have a negative yellow. So let's say that I collect six, but somehow out of chance. Yeah, you actually get the this the yellow as well. So let's say you get both these cards. So what it does is since this is a yellow and this is a yellow, it basically cancels out the points here. And so you would like lose, you would basically lose those, you know, those, those get discarded so you don't get any points at all. Um, and then so that has a negative effect if you have positive points, but it also has a positive effect if you have a negative point card. So the whole point is to attract these little critters using your fireflies. And by the after all the cards have been drawn, you basically tally up your points. And the person that has the most points wins the game. Yeah. And if you want to equate it to other games, something that you might want to think of it as is uh, there's some poker aspects in that you are doing betting. There is um, kind of bluffing. Yep. Um, you also want to hide how many fireflies you have in your hand. Each per Everybody starts with the same amount, but you hide them in your hand so as you gain more, uh, you this is basically your betting power. This can keep you from getting a bad card, the one that you do not want to get, or, yes. and making somebody else have to get one that they don't want. Um, there's also another aspect to the um, marbles. There is the teardrop. This is kind of like a... Um, IOU system. If you have a blue, then what this means is that you have borrowed a firefly from the bank. And the more blues you have, that can affect your score near the end. So there's a lot of different things that can affect winning and losing. It's a lot of good strategy. There's uh, everywhere from the beginner level all the way up to the advanced level. Um, so it's it's actually a really fun game with some really cool art. I like it a lot. Yeah, no, the art, I mean, you can see right here, here's the instruction book. So the instruction book just, the art's amazing. Um, the artist here is um, Atha Kanani. Can Kanani. Um, so the art, no, the art's fantastic. I think that's what kind of drove us to look at it, to kind of check out anyway. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, Game Smile by Z-Man Games. Z-Man Games, um, designed by uh, designed by Michael Schacht and um, illustrated by Atha, Atha <laughs> Kanani. But it's distributed by Z-Man Games. I think the retail on this is like twenty bucks, nineteen ninety nine, I believe. Yep, so um, nineteen ninety nine. So anyway, here's a close up of it. Highly recommend it. All right, guys. Eating, Linda. It's chips and salsa. You know, chips and salsa. Yeah, I knew that you were getting off work, and we needed a place to hang out. So why not King's Landing? That sounds like a good idea. Oh my gosh, that's so spicy. Like, I don't even have to eat it a whole lot. Is it really? Let me try. And my nasal cavities have opened up. <sighs> this is not only good for your sinuses, but. I've had Mexican food and this salsa is really, really good. See, it's so spicy, but I can't stop eating it. I know, right? It's so good. It's so good. Like, oh man. But the <clears throat> chips, they're nice and crisp as well, which combined with this the salsa. This is true. If you've got a cold, I would recommend this salsa for reals. It will clear your sinuses in a heartbeat. You know what, Jordan? Clear. We should definitely come to like Venus Ladies Night in King's Landing. It's really, really fun. Ladies Night is every night, Linda. That's so true. But I think it's Tuesday. If you come to Tuesday night, Ladies Night, you get to watch anime, play your old video games, and have some chips and salsa. Mm hmm. That's right. That's so spicy. <laughs> I don't know. It's very like savory, but it's kind of very tomatoey, and those are like actual like pepper seeds in there, like jalapeno seeds. Wow! Oh my gosh, it is so spicy. I might start crying. Oh please don't! Woo! I can feel the tears are coming. They're coming, Linda. They're coming. They're coming. Make them go. 
Okay, okay. We're good now. Okay. All right. Oh, don't scare me. You know, I'm trying to think of what else this tastes like. This doesn't taste like it's out of the can. Oh, no, for sure. It no. definitely tastes like it was homemade. It just does taste homemade. homemade salsa from King's Landing. And it even has the seeds from the peppers. Oh, and it has onions, too. Mmm, yes. Oh, Fresh, really savory good. onions. Delicious. I'm Josh the Onichan here uh, with Velcro the snake and Ashley. Yeah, so, hi there. Hi. Okay. Hi. So, yeah, thank you all so much for both of you actually uh, coming on to uh, Onichan uh, Power Hour and everything along the lines of that. Uh, so, so, Velcro, uh, how are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, that, that's good to hear, bud. Good, real good to hear. Yeah, so, um, Okay, so actually, uh, I actually don't know a whole lot about, uh, about snakes or uh, your kind, but how often do you guys actually eat? Really? Wow, wow, okay, yeah, so like, you know, like every two weeks, that's, that's crazy. Wow, wow, that's, that's awesome, man. Okay, so, huh, huh. okay, and uh, what, what's actually part of your, uh, your favorite diet? You, you realize snakes don't... Oh, excuse me, he's, he's talking right now. Wow, that's uh, that's amazing. Wow. Okay, so we actually have a pretty diverse diet. Uh, mostly, mostly mice, uh, dead mice, uh, living mice. I, I can understand how that would be way more fun. Kind of get the little challenge of the catch and everything like that. So that's that's but, really cool. But, but it's it's, it's, really cool. it's rats. I mean, he, 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 okay. Okay, so how did you two meet anyway? Mm-hmm. Really? That's, that's insane. Oh wow. Okay, so, okay, so, uh, so Ashley, mm -hmm. he tells me uh, that you actually do a, a snake rescue and a snake education uh, for you know kids and you know everyone like that. Uh, what what actually got you decided to get into that? Um, uh, he. Uh, yes. So, <clears throat> well, I I loved snakes for years. Um, I used to be terrified. And then I had a friend throw one on me and said, don't drop her, she's expensive. And I just, several years later, now I do rescue and education. I, I love to you know, teach people about them and take that fear away. And it, it really makes me feel good to give them a better home and take them from ignorant people who can't handle them anymore or don't have the time or the room or buy it before they realize what it needs. Yeah, wow, that's, that's actually really incredible. Wow. He was actually a rescue. Yeah, yeah, no, he was telling me how uh, you actually were kind of working at a snake suicide hotline and how he had actually called, and uh, he actually had to talk with you. That's uh, that's sure. pretty. Yeah, that's pretty, sure. pretty phenomenal and amazing. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I completely understand that. Yeah, I mean, definitely going through hard times, uh, and the fact that you're able to help, you know, help him out. That's that's pretty amazing. Well, he was actually found in a cage that was too small, mm -hmm. and when we got him, we set the cage down. We were about to load him in the car, and just roaches started pouring out. Of his cage, like we're talking, like the plastic on the outside, they were coming out. We ripped the plastic yeah, off, yeah. and they were everywhere. Oh yeah, no. You're, so you're, you're just kind of repeating them at this point. You already, okay, okay. You already, well. you already told me about that. Um, all right. But she doesn't really listen all that well, does she? I mean, thankfully she listened to the, the snake suicide hotline. Uh, so that's I'm definitely glad to hear that. Um, again, thank you so much for actually doing that. You, mm -hmm. you did save his life, so he's you know definitely grateful for that. I'm, I'm sure you know. I mean, he's you know, clearly all over you, so yeah, yeah, wow, that's a good deal. So, uh, so actually, Velcro, um, I had a question. How do, how do you feel about the whole uh, Adam and Eve and the serpent situation? <clears throat> wow, wow, okay. Yeah, no, no, I could imagine that too. I mean, I don't know who wouldn't like to eat an apple and, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's for sure. Ah, wow, yeah. Um, 
Oh, really? So actually, do you you do actually have some apples around the house every once in a while? Uh, that you know, yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, I mean, it's a good healthy snack. Yeah, yeah. Not for him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure he tries to sell you one occasionally. So they are delicious. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's for sure. All right, good deal. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good deal. So. Um, in that case, again, Velcro, I, I don't know a whole lot about snakes, so I'm, I'm curious, you know, I'm sure kind of all a little curious on this one, but, uh, you know, since you only, like, you know, once every two weeks, uh, kind of, I'm embarrassed to ask, but, uh, how often do you poop? Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah, that, that would be quite a mess for her to have to clean up, I'd imagine so with all the, the mice and rat carcasses and all, yeah. It's wow. like Great Dane pooped in the cage. Yeah, she sounds like she's exaggerating a little bit. Yeah. I really wish I was. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it'd be kind of rude if you kind of be putting his business out there. <laughs> you know. Wow. Well, okay. Well, well hey, hey, uh, Velcro. Thank you so much for actually uh, getting to talk with you. Uh, it was a pleasure, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, pet you a little bit. If I uh, shake your hand, if I could, and. Uh, Actually, I, I appreciate you uh, you being here for Velcro. He uh, he uh, he definitely appreciates you, and I'm, I'm sure you actually know that. So yeah, good deal. Well, there you have it. There's uh there's Velcro and uh, and Ashley. All right, and uh, thank you so much. All right, bye.